Hey there and welcome to another free tutorial video brought to you by rcnightmare.com. Today we're going to take a look at some of the specifics of nitro fuel with RCs. So what is nitro fuel? It's a commonly tossed around term, but specifically it's methanol based. Uh, it contains nitromethane, also known as nitro, and oil. It's used in RC trucks, cars, planes, boats, lots of, lots of different things. Um, so what is nitromethane specifically? Well, it's known as, like I said earlier, nitro for short. It's derived from propane, and what it does is it adds, it brings along with it extra oxygen to the combustion process. So the more nitro percentage you have, generally, is more power. Uh, the most common nitro percentage that people use is 20%, but it can range from as little as 5% uh, for some large aircrafts to as much as 40% for people who use uh, at, at the racetrack. Uh, what is methanol? Well, it was originally derived from wood. Now uh, it's derived from natural gas. And what's really unique about methanol is that its evaporation has a cooling effect. So as it evaporates in the engine, it can, it can help cool it. And it's the primary power source. And the third ingredient in nitro fuel is oil. Uh, for a long time, they used castor oil, um, and then they moved to synthetic. Nowadays, most nitro fuels contain a mix of the two. There's key differences between castor oil and synthetic oil, though. When castor oil breaks down, it actually better lubricates the engine. Uh, but as, as a side effect of that, it can leave behind a residue that builds up and gunks up your motor. Synthetic doesn't typically leave behind much of a residue, but when it breaks down, it can create, uh, you can lose some of the lubrication that you would get with a castor oil, and that's why most fuels contain a mixture of both. Um, so a lot of people want to know what percentage nitro you should run. Well, 20% is the most popular with uh, RC cars and trucks. Some important things to note when you want to change your nitro percentage, however, is that tuning becomes a really big issue. You need to take care of things like adding extra head shims or running colder plugs to make sure that your car run or car truck runs correctly. Another drawback is if you're not careful, detonation can occur inside the motor. What that is is when the fuel actually explodes as opposed to burning, and that can cause a lot of problems inside the engine, cause a lot of damage. Um, so to sum, it up, to sum it up, really, you want to do your research ahead of time, pay careful attention to tuning if you're going to change the standard nitro percentage, and also be, be aware that most engines are made for a specific nitro percentage, so you can't just go throwing different nitro percentages in any, in any motor. That's why doing your research is important. You want to monitor temperature, engine temperature closely, and be aware that different brands of fuel mix differently. So some brands have a different percentage of oil, which means it'll cool differently. Um, you need to be aware of those sorts of things. Also, if you're new to it, talk to your local hobby shop or friends in the hobby or, you know, hop on forum, online forums like the one on our website. Talk to people who have done it before. That's a great way to avoid making mistakes. And of course, have fun. So I hope this answered a couple of your questions about nitro fuel. And if you have any other questions, shoot on over to rcnightmare.com and where we have a free support forum and we can talk about this further.